today we will solve examples on cauchy theorem we know that what says uh, cauchy theorem and what is the proof example or verify cauchy theorem for the function f of z is equal to z square where c is the square having vertices 0 comma 0 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 and 0 comma 0 solution this is the figure for the given vertices then c is a square o a b c and we have by cauchy theorem uh, integration over c f of z dz is equal to 0 this is the statement that is uh, statement of cauchy theorem that is integration over c f of z dz is equal to 0 therefore we have to show that here this c split, um, curve splits into four parts that is uh, o a a b b c and c o this can be written as integration over o a here f of given f of z is z square therefore integration over o a z square dz plus integration over a b z square dz plus integration over b c z square dz plus integration over c o z square dz is equal to 0 this we have to prove here along o a y is equal to this means the along the line o a y is equal to 0 see here y coordinate is 0 here therefore dy is equal to 0 and x lies between 0 and 1 and z square dz is equal to z is x plus i y z square will be x plus i y whole square and dz is dx plus i dy therefore here y value is 0 therefore the z square dz is equal to x square into dx therefore integration over oa z square dz is equal to integration from 0 to 1 x square dx we know that the integration of x square is x cube by 3 limits from 0 to 1 after the substitution of limit we get uh, the value of this integration is 1 by 3 name this equation 1 then along with a b here a, on the line a b x is equal to 1 and dx is equal to 0 and y lies between 0 and 1 then z square dz is equal to x plus i y whole square dx plus i dy here y x value is 1 substitute that we get 1 plus i y whole square here dx is uh, 0 therefore i into dy here substitute that use this result we get integration over a b z square dz is equal to i i is constant take outside the integration we get integration from 0 to 1 1 plus i y whole square into dy then uh, apply the formula a plus b whole square we get 1 minus y square here i square y square we know that uh, value of y square is minus 1 therefore 1 minus y square plus 2 i y into dy next step is integration if integration of 1 is y and y square is y cube by 3 and 2 y y is i is constant here uh, keep as it is uh, y difference integration is y square by 2 therefore 2 to get will be cancelled remaining is only i into y square limits from 0 to 1 substitute the limits and calculate we get i into 1 minus 1 by 3 plus i which is equal to i into 2 by 3 plus i which is equation 2 next for the next line bc along bc y is equal to 1 therefore dy is equal to 0 and x lies between 1 and 0 therefore z square dz is equal to x plus i y whole square dx plus i dy here y value is 1 therefore x plus i y y value is 1 therefore it's, uh, x plus i whole square therefore and dx dz square dz is equal to x plus i whole square into dx here also apply x plus a plus b whole square formula and we have integration from 0, 1 to 0 x square plus 2ix minus 1 into dx next step is integration we know that integration of x square is x cube by 3 i is constant this is x square by 2 2 to get cancelled remaining is x square one differentiation is x limits from 1 to 0 apply the limits we get 2 by 3 minus i integration of integral value is 2 by 3 minus i name this is equation 3 next along c o x is equal to 0 therefore dx is equal to 0 and x lies between 1 and 0 
then z square dz is equal to x plus i y whole square dx plus i dy which is equal to here x value is 0 and i minus i y square into dy because here x value is 0 remaining is i y whole square i, y, I square is minus 1 into y square here i dy is remaining therefore it is minus i y square into dy then integration over co z square dz is equal to integration from 1 to 0 minus i y square into dy i is constant take outside minus i y square integration is y cube by 3 limits from 1 to 0 apply the limits then integral value is integration over co z square dz is equal to i by 3 then this is equation 4 after that adding equation 1 2 3 4 we get see this is equation 1 2 3 4 the integral value of equation 1 is 1 by 3 plus minus 1 plus 2i by 3 plus 2 by 3 minus i plus i by 3 calculate we get integration over c z square dz value is 0 hence here the give our Cauchy theorem is verified next show that integration over c mod z square dz is equal to i minus 1 where c is a square having vertices 0 comma 0 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 0 comma 1 give and give the reason for Cauchy theorem not being satisfied here we have to give the reason if it not satisfied see here integration over c mod z square dz is equal to 0 then it will be then here Cauchy theorem is verified but here integration over c mod z square dz value is i minus 1 means that here Cauchy theorem is not verified after the calculation we have to give the reason why it not satisfy the Cauchy theorem solution the curve c is an is as shown in the figure this is the figure for the given vertices similarly as in the previous um, example integration over c mod z square dz here c splits into four parts c1 c2 c3 c c4 or along op pq uh, pq qr and ro you can write op pq qr ro otherwise c1 c2 c3 as you wish take this is equation 1 we have mod z square dz is equal to x square plus y square dx plus i dy we know that mod z square value is x square plus y square dx plus i dy along op means this one c1 y is equal to 0 implies dy is equal to 0 then mod z square dz is equal to 1 plus y square i dy sorry mod z square z is equal to x square into dx where x lies between 0 and 1 then along pq means c2 x is equal to 1 dx is equal to 0 and mod z square dz value is 1 plus y square into i dy where y lies between 0 and 1 next for the third one along qr means c3 y1 is equal y is equal to 1 implies dy is equal to 0 and mod z square dz value is x square plus 1 into dx where x lies between 1 and 0 next for the along ro means c4 x is equal to 0 dx is equal to 0 mod z square dz value is y square into i d by where y lies between 1 and 0 apply all these uh, conditions here using the results in 1 we have apply all the results in equation 1 integration over c mod z square dz is equal to integration from 0 to 1 x square dx plus i into integration from integration from 0 to 1 1 plus y square into dy plus integration from 1 to 0 x square plus 1 into dx plus integration plus i into integration from 1 to 0 y square into dy plus is equal to here x square integration is x cube by 3 and this one is y plus y cube by 3 for this one x cube by 3 plus 1 this is y cube by 3 after the uh, substitution of limits we get the value is integration over c mod z square dz value is minus i minus 1 plus i this is the proof thus integration over c mod z square dz is equal to i minus 1 along the given path next for the reason 
according to Cauchy theorem we must have integration over c mod z square dz is equal to 0 but Cauchy theorem imposes the condition on f of z to be analytic here f of z is equal to mod z square or u plus iv which is equal to x square plus y therefore u is equal to x square plus y square and v is equal to 0 also uh, u x is equal to 2x u y means dou u by dou x is equal to 2x dou u by dou y is equal to 2y and dou v by dou x is equal to 0 dou v by dou y is equal to 0 Cauchy Riemann equations we know that what are the Cauchy Riemann equation that is u x is equal to v y and v x is equal to minus u y are not satisfied therefore the given function f of z is equal to mod z square is not analytic the Cauchy theorem is satisfied only when the given function is analytic our given here for this problem the given function mod z square is not analytic therefore this function doesn't does not satisfy the Cauchy theorem this is the reason for Cauchy theorem not being satisfied next example verify Cauchy theorem for the function mod z is equal to z into e raised to minus z over the unit circle with the origin as the center solution we have to evaluate integration over c z into e raised to minus z dz where z is the circle mod, mod z is equal to 1 therefore z is equal to e raised to i theta where theta lies between 0 and 2 pi dz is equal to i into e raised to i theta into d theta just differentiate this one then integration of this one is integration over from 0 to 2 pi e raised to i theta e raised to minus i theta i into e raised to i theta into d theta z is e raised to i theta e raised to z value is e raised to minus i theta i into e raised to i theta into d theta then uh, integrate this one e raised to i theta minus e raised to i theta i into e raised to i theta it will be e raised to i theta e raised to i theta is e raised to 2 i theta this is e raised to e raised to minus i theta because z value is e raised to i theta it is minus therefore minus e raised to i theta here see here e raised to minus e raised to i theta into d theta put e raised to i theta is equal to t then e raised to i theta into i into d theta is equal to dt or dt is d theta is equal to dt by i t when t is equal to 0 we get t is theta is equal to 0 we get t is equal to e raised to 0 which is equal to 1 when theta is equal to 2 pi t is equal to e raised to 2 pi i we know that e raised to i theta can be written as cos theta cup plus i sin theta here it is e raised to 2 pi i therefore cos 2 pi plus i sin 2 pi next is therefore integration over c z into e raised to minus z dz is equal to i into integration from 1 to 1 t square into e raised to minus t dt by i t i is a constant here integration from 1 to 1 t into e raised to i t into dt see here both the integral integration limits uh, limit value are same here since the limits are same the value of the integral is 0 thus integration over c dz into e raised to minus z dz is equal to 0 hence the Cauchy theorem is verified.